Hey there, everybody. Pet here, and welcome back to Pet Plays Jurassic World Evolution. Hi, Precious. How you doing? You looking handsome and or beautiful as is necessary. What I'm trying to say is you look great. You're only 50% authentic, a little bit more than that, but let's let's be real. Ain't nothing wrong with that, though, because you're 100% precious, 100% beautiful. It's gift shop, man. How do I make gift shops better, eh? Hey? It's got some path connection. It doesn't have a storm protection, I see. Okay. But it's not damaged. So that's good. Anyway, we're going to get some carnivores up in here. As you can see, we're ready to release this. So before I do, we should probably put in like uh, a gate. <laughs> That'd be helpful. Actually, we have the gate over here next to the ACU center. I guess that's good. But we also need like, you know, something for him to eat. What do they, what do these dinosaurs eat? Yo, tell me more about this sweet boy that we're trying to make here. He eats meat. I got that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I saw the information button. All right. There's this family. There's this genus. Carnivore and live bait. So I don't think that means he only eats live bait. But let's, we'll find out. I love his hornlets, by the way. Let's go. Well, wait. Let's not go. <laughs> Throw down some actual meat here. Let's see. Do we have any specific viewing areas? We don't yet. And I'm thinking we toss down a viewing it or a food area like over here. One is good for now. And then we slap in a viewing gallery. No, don't understand. There we go. Somewhere over here for them to eat their roughage. Was this all like too close to the road or something? Probably. In fact, now that I now that I actually see how it's set up, it's not even a probably. It's a most definitely way too close to the road. So here's how you do. You don't demo well, yeah, you do demolish. You demolish a little bit of road. You go bippity boppity boop. You go, oh my god, trees, get the heck out of my house. There you go. And then you put in your beautiful BVOing area right here. Facing the other way. There you go. Oh, yeah. You can actually see most of the enclosure from this viewing area. Which means that it's both perfect and professional. And we are smart lads. Don't even get it twisted. What is that? Cheap path? I don't even know anymore. I'm just going to connect it to both areas. You mean you won't swerve over like that? All right. Go like this. Oh, that's not good. Just go like this for now. And then can we get like a, get like a, like a, uh, okay, well, <clears throat> well, we could just connect it like that, which works for my lazy ass. Okay. And then we need to go ahead and connect the disc padding here. So we'll just do that. Uh, let's, no, 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 no. we're going to do this little sexy curve there. Beautiful. Okay. Now we unleash the beast. There he is. Oh yeah. More teeth. Keep this up and the sky's the limit. Dude, his skin pattern is awesome. I'm already in love. Look at him! Happy guest is what we strive to maintain here on the island. We do that by making sure their needs are met. In a way, it's kind of like taking care of the dinos, just with more demands and less understanding. <laughs> Am I right? I guess you're right. Look, I, I need a minute here. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with this. This is amazing. I have no water in here, do I? Oh, there's no water in this enclosure. I'm going to need to fix that, but he's immediately going for food. I'm going to... I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to first be amazed by you. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to start by calling you Chompy. He's four and a half stars. This dinosaur is amazing. Oh, he does have water. He has a little bit of water over here. That's right. There's a lake here. Beautiful. 
actually beautiful. It's like we... It's like I accidentally thought this out way too well. And they even have a viewing gallery. And now he wants me to research freaking... Freaking clothing shops? You nuts? Alright, it's only 200,000. And it takes less than a minute to research. What? Opportunity is knocking. Answer. Okay. On Earth, a small or medium herbivore fossil. Why? <clears throat> Excuse me. I just died there a little bit. Why would our... Why would our team not like that? Ooh, there's a group over here in Europe, but that's not a... That's not the right kind of fossil. What is, uh... What is that? I don't even... I gotta find out. What, there's nothing to... No fossils in Antarctica? Okay, whatever. Yeah, let's head over here. Okay, we got clothing shops now. Yes, we do. We got clothing shops. How about you? Things are looking good around here, huh? Yep. I love what you're doing with the place. Four stars for shopping. That's... It doesn't get any better than that. Terrain constraints. Well, we'll fix that. Check it out. That's not having. That's... Not terrain. Landscaping. Check it out. Find out what it's all about. Flatten all this. As much as we can. Oh yeah, that's perfect. That's You could totally put it... What, what are we actually doing? I want this all raised up to, to this level here. Let's see. There you go. Yeah! That's what I wanted. You gotta bring it all up to that level. Okay, flatten all this out. Now, can we fit a clothes shop in here? It looks like we can. Terrain constraints? Because there's a tiny hill in the back? I'm actually upset. Uh, I mean, maybe I could put one on this side? No, it's obstructed terrain. Well, maybe we can, maybe we can flatten it out on the other side. Yeah. There you go. Okay, we'll try that. We'll try that. I mean, obviously, you want all of your... All of your shops to be on the highest level. That just makes sense. Please. This favor, do it for me. What if I... Kind of... Snap that in over? No? You don't want to... You don't want to do this for me? You don't want to do me this favor? Outside billable. I mean, I understand. Put it over here on the corner. What? I don't want to do that. There's got to be a smaller building I got. I can fit in here. There's got to be. If there's not, I'll actually be upset. Maybe I put it over here and move this transformer, this substation. Excuse me. Don't get it twisted. All right, substation. Talk to me. Let's put you over here instead. Little spot for you. Put that up. Connect you to there. N no power. N no cable. I could have sworn I put in a cable. All right. Build cost obstructed. Build cost obstructed. Listen. Connect directly to this. Don't. Say go, don't pass two hundred dollars just demolish this building. Alright. And then I wanna redo the lines. I know I got no power, okay? Just don't get it twisted. You're twisting it like crazy and it's bothering me over here. Okay, we are connected over there. In fact, this does power the whole grid, technically. I believe. Although this one seems like it's unnecessary. Yeah, I know. Don't even with this shenanigans, okay? Bam. Alright. Cool. <laughs> That's probably terrible power management. But, if it lets me put the clothes shop over here, which it totally doesn't, because of terrain constraints, then we've done it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flatten all this out. Flatten all this out. Alright. Hit me up with that clothing shop. 
Mm-hmm. And... It's still not gonna go. Ah, God. I mean, I could put it over here, I guess. It is near the entrance still, so it's fine. It's fine. It's not ideal, but it's fine. Look, he's showing off. Choppy's showing off to the guest. And they're all like, cool. He's Choppy. Alright. It's almost done. And it'll be powered almost immediately. Don't even get it twisted. How's our expedition going? Insufficient fossil capacity. Excuse me? Am I full of fossils? I am full of fossils. Oh, well, amphibian fossils are useless to us. You're not a dinosaur. What do we? What do we? Like what there I'm we go. Seeing. Let's keep it up. Satisfaction is what we aim to give our guests. Make them appreciate the little things, and the big things. With Ooh. The teeth and glassy eyes that could swallow them whole. First of all, let's extract some DNA from this amber. Beautiful. Second of all. Nice job. I feel like we are starting to understand one another. Nice. Everyone likes me a little bit. Even security. It's like, okay, you're slightly okay. Ooh, I'm close to an unlock for science. I want to go for that, I think. 112,000 per minute. Look at that. We're making money. Why do you want me to construct a live bait feeder? I mean, I guess I don't have to really ask why, do I? All right, fine. One live bait feeder coming up. I ain't happy about it. What you, what's obstructing you? There you go. Alright. We've done it. I hope you're happy. How's our food doing over here? 7 out of 10? It's not quite 10 out of 10, but it's getting there. We've done it. Alright. Dracorex now available. Hey, way to go. We've got our park running at maximum happiness, and our guest numbers are up as a result. That's what makes the entertainment division the envy of the rest. We get the results, am I right? When the parks are running well, our scientific research improves. Of course, I'd never tell this to Isaac directly. Heard it. Mm, I, I was going to add... Th no. No. No, 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 no. Too late. Heard it. <laughs> Later, Doc. Ugh. Don't tell other people that things could be good. By the way, we got another Edmontosaurus and I completely forgot about him. How you doing, buddy? You were just sitting in there for a few years, waiting to be released. I could just release dinosaurs all day. And that would be just this a beautiful game. The Edmontosaurus was originally uncovered at a site in Canada. I'll let you guess where. The T-Rex thinks these are delicious. And who's to argue? Well, I don't know. I've never had one. I'm sure they're nice, though. Hey, bird, how's it going? Haven't seen you in a while. Looks like you're doing pretty well. Little population could be a little bit better. A little bit more of a social life for you, I suppose. How's, uh... How's Precious doing when it comes to those stats? Social life's alright. Not too low, not too high. Population, pretty good. All right. No complaints. What about over here? Where's, uh, hey. Where'd he go? Where's Chompy? Oh, there's Chompy showing off to the crowd. Yeah, he's perfectly happy with his social life. Population, not too high. Good amount of forest, good amount of grassland. He's comfy. He's got water. He's got food. Dude literally needs nothing. If anything, his life's too good. He's like, I'm in the happiest place I've ever been in. How's this, um, how's this clothes shop doing? Ain't got no storm protection. I understand this. I do. We're selling dino hats? No, man. Onesies. That's a little bit too far. But let's sell the shirts. Yeah. Expense 10 bucks. Obviously, we're going to sell them for 15. That's how we do it. And even 15 seems a bit low. We could totally do 20. Yeah. 
which is a cost to put another staff member in here. Quite a bit. Could handle almost double the amount of guests, though. Which means, in theory, more income. Sure, two staff. You know, if we could do that, we can probably turn it up over here in the fast food place as well. Guests are not overflowing over here. But we'll sell a dino dish. Sell it, sell it excuse me, for ten bucks a pop. Make some money off that. Gift shop? I think we're already selling lunch boxes. Yeah, I don't know if you could do better than that. That's pretty good. You're no you're also not nearly at capacity, so I got nothing to worry about. I got no missions right now. Life's good. I don't care about the in-gen database necessarily. At least not at this time. Okay, we got a little bit about you know, I like that thing. Send another team over here, learn more about them. Go ahead and extract some DNA for these buddies. In fact, go ahead and just hello. Remember, the show must go on. This contract makes that possible. All right, all right. Get a new other genome to at least fifty percent. I understand this. I do. All right, extract them all. Okay, we're we're gonna make a hundred percent dinosaur eventually. It's probably gonna be probably the be the uh, Struthia Mimas first, apparently. Let's go ahead and rock this genome a bit, see if we can do something with that. We can totally apply some arid pattern. It does lower its viability a little bit, makes it less likely to immediately hatch. But it totally ups the rating. Lifespan. Lowers viability, ups that lifespan, though. With that cardio strength. I don't know about that, though. Resilience? Throw down some robust digestion. Gives it a little bit of resilience. And then unknown. Oh, we don't know what to do with that. All right. That's good. Go ahead. Get us another Struthia Mimus. I like them bird boys anyway. Everybody knows it. We should probably be doing some research as well. While we're rocking this. Zero items available, but it's new. What are you even doing? What's new over here? Building upgrades. That's new. That's something I want to rock. So let's talk. Reduced upkeep could be good. More ah, more fossil space would be really good, actually. Ooh, success rate. Increases viability by 10%. I mean, yeah, I should probably be researching that. Let's get that going. Plug that bad boy in. Dinosaur has successfully been raised to maturity. Let's go. Yeah. Nice colors, my boy. You look like a living watermelon. It's beautiful. Population's still pretty good. All right, let's get our new fossils. Uh, a little bit of silver. Cool. A little bit of Cytodont. Cool. There you go. Raise these babies up. Give me 1% addition for that. Not too bad. Not too bad. It's a start. It's something. How much viewing area do we got over here? In fact, I can use the management views to find out for sure. Power. Got it spread out in a fairly effective way for now. We still have a lot of space we can grow into, so we'll have to remember to do that. Storm protection we don't have. I should probably fix that. Shelter. I mean... So we could use a little bit of protection over here in these places? I guess it's in case something goes wrong. Visibility. Pretty good. Attractions. We're making money. Attractions. Yeah, that will be these little boys here. Food. Shows where guests are hungry. Oh, there's a, a minor demand for food over in this section of the park. Okay, I see how it works. Thirsty, same thing. Shopping. They want to shop over here? I mean, I guess you can. You want entertainment over here? You're not entertained. I'm actually upset. Okay. Well, we need to fix some of that. First, let's, uh, let's go ahead and remove some of the green here, please. Don't tell Swamp Thing. Anyway, here we go. Yeah, we'll just uh, make some of this section of the park a little bit more naked. You know, I should probably uh, 
There you go. Still some trees over here, but uh, maybe not. Maybe not immediately have them out of the dinosaur's way here. Or in the viewing way, I should say. All right. As you can see, we have a lot more land to explore here. A lot more. Oh, well, there's a storm coming. Let's go ahead and actually get some of those storm generators going. How much power do we have available? Six. We have six available power. We have, we can, okay. We can put down one defense station. Well, I guess defending this area over here is a good start. Can I slap it in right here? I cannot. But we got research done. Yes, we do. We got research done. How about you? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Right there. Cool. Little bit of storm defense. It's easy and it's peasy. Just so that these storms can't affect us anymore. Let's see what research we can do now. We got uh, that DNA upgrade, which is pretty great. We can't upgrade it anymore for now. Let's upgrade reload speed team scheduling and accuracy suppose that would be good let's consider upgrading those fossils for now though although genetic research also seems tempting attack and resilience attack and defense lifespan and resilience yeah let's put some sharks in these dinosaurs that makes sense right who cares if it makes sense this is this is my world of Jurassic. Numbers are looking great. Thank you. I see that we have positive numbers. All right. Just clearing out some more of this. We could always turn some more of it into into forest again later. For now, though, I just want to see what I'm doing. Because right now, it looks like I've just completely wasted a fair amount of this space. But that's okay. I mean, look what's going on over here. This is. Why did that little... Why was there a dongle there? I don't understand. Okay? I just don't understand. But now we can... Maybe build downward some. Or even just... Make some pathways coming over here... For some more events. Could make a, maybe make a path around this... Uh, around this lake here. People like to go around lakes, right? That's what people like to do. Uh, excuse me, dead dinosaur? And now we reach the inevitable. Life begets death. But Bird. here's the question that you gotta ask yourself. Was this avoidable? Hmm. The answer? Of course not. Death, it's always coming. But could you have delayed it? Well, that's maybe another story. Bird died of old age. To be completely fair... That's about the best case scenario about how... It, yeah, it's rating is negative three. About how it could have died would be of old age, I suppose. Its age was 49. Its expected lifespan was 40. Actually, lived a lot longer than one would expect. Okay. I mean, I guess that's good. What do I do about a dead dino? Ranger team. Add task. No. Uh, ACU? Transport teams? To collect the asset. Yeah. Goodbye, bird. You were... You were a wonder, wonderful little part of our park for the short time you were around. How long are you gonna live? Your age is three. You're gonna live for 52? Yeah, I'll call you, uh... Call you? I'm gonna, I'm gonna call you watermelon. I was gonna call you bird too, but I'm gonna call you watermelon now. Alas, poor bird. We knew you well. We loved ye. So how long are you gonna live, precious? Your age is 45. Your expected lifespan is 52. Ugh. All right. Well, I guess we shouldn't become too attached to these dinosaurs. Oh, jeez. That's... that's unfortunate. Why is this pathing... 
so crooked. Let's uh, let's redo this, please, for my health. All right, we're gonna we're gonna actually just go straight just a little bit longer, and then we're gonna bring it around here. Kind of want it like that, and then I can just drive it straight home. I know it's not completely straight yet. Don't don't start with the twist getting okay. There we go. And then we could go on a straight line over to here. And then we can kind of go like this. And then maybe even curve it over so that it's hugging the lake as much as possible. As you can see. And we would need it like this. Kind of like that. And then we... No, no, no. We... We go like this, and then we curve it around, and we connect it to this path. I kind of want to connect it over here. Let's hug the heck out of this lake. Okay, so now we kind of have a way of going around the lake, you see. It's nice. You can put an emergency shelter up here. It'd be great. In theory, I guess. So in case we need it. Hopefully we won't ever, but... You never know. Just slap one right here. There you go. Alright. Then we could also put down some food over here. Because I heard you guys wanted some food. So we'll get you some food. We'll also get some power going on over here. Which means we're probably going to want a power station dedicated to this area. Now that I think about it. So. Why, why can I not build it? Onto this road. I don't understand. But whatever. Just slap it. Yeah, we'll put it in the back. Put it like right back here for now. And then we'll get some lines running out here. and We'll figure out the rest later, okay? Just do that for now. And we are going to need a road going to it. There's a road in here somewhere. There it is. Just get you going straight out to here. There we go. Okay. Cool. Now we're going to need a couple of substations, of course. So we're going to need a substation. Can, we, can I fit one in here? Oh, I can. Bam. Bam. And then we're just going to go like... Yeah, let's do that. We'll put another substation over there and then like that. And then it connects here like that. Oh, hi. Science division is always on the lookout for ways to improve our bottom line. Reach 175,000 income per minute. Dude, you're going to give me money for making money? What's not the love? You know? Obviously, we just connect that to there. And that's good. And I kind of want to put a substation over here somewhere. Is that connected? I guess it is. Or does it not need to be connected? I don't know the truth anymore. And I kind of want to do one over here as well. Oh, just can barely reach. So we'll just slap you right here. And then here. Okay. Now we can build stuff all around these places. All right. This will be, uh, yeah. This would be Dino Bites. Sweet. Just sell some cheap bites over here. We got plenty of guests over here. Look at their needs. Food and drink are met. They have no needs for these. Shopping? They seem to be okay with shopping as well. Fun? Oh, they got fun. I know they do. They got fun. How about you? What are we doing on income right now? Talk to me. Mr. Finch, we're at 127000 per minute. Most of it's coming from ticket sales. As you can imagine. This is arrival part point one, by the way. I'm not sure if there's actually... a place in the park to change your ticket sales. There's the island rating. Great safety, great capacity, great satisfaction probably use more dinosaurs, but they have great welfare right now. What more can you ask for? I can unlock new islands with a three-star rating, and I'm almost there. Getting so close. 
We are here. In case you didn't know. Very interesting. Should probably get some more fossils as well. So, tell you what. Expedition Center 1. Get us some more fossils if you could do us this favor, please. Alright. And we got a little bit of storm protection as well, although the uh, emergency place does not have storm protection, but that's, that's funny. Although it, it itself counts as storm protection. So they could like run in there and be protected from a storm. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, everyone has what they need, at least for right this second. That's good. Here's our here's our breakdown, which is pretty good. Island management, contracts, reputation, missions, and then the finances. So that's all that good stuff. I can learn about all this. I still got the genome gathering one to do. I gotta get a new. I haven't gotten a new genome to fifty percent yet. What am I doing, man? I need to do some research, I think. Also, could upgrade one of these to have more success rate. It does take more power to do so. And you know what? This grid over here is actually not connected to the rest of the power grid. I should probably change that. So, we can do that fairly easily. By just tossing some pylons over. I'm thinking this does it. There we go. That was easier than I thought it would be. Cool. Now the whole grid is connected. We can go ahead and look at our management view, see our power. We got 55 available power. That gives us space to grow. 126,000. I feel like we either need more dinosaurs or we need more stuff to spend money on. Right now I'm thinking more dinosaurs is possibly the way to go. I almost want to do another Ceratosaurus, but at the same time, I'm thinking more Struthia Mimus might be the way to go. They're social creatures. They could use more of them. And we're almost ready for that new boy there as well. Ooh. -hoo. Nicely done, my friends. Let's go ahead and grab some more of that new one over in China. Whose name I am not wanting to try to pronounce. Poyangasaurus. Something like that. I don't even know. What I do know is that we're getting close to the end of this episode. If that plays... Ooh, he's nice. He's immune to bracken poisoning, by the way. That this is... Look, may not be happy about it, but we are about at the end of this episode. Sorry, dude. Of that plays. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just looking at his stats, okay? Jurassic World Evolution is what I'm playing. It's pretty great. I can't stop. I just can't stop. Look, we keep releasing dinosaurs like crazy. We're insane, boys. How you doing? If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to let me know by giving a like if you haven't already. Feel free to subscribe for more. This is going to keep coming at least for a little while, and it won't stop coming at least for a little while longer. Thank you again for watching this episode of That Plays Jurassic World. My name is Thet. Here's another Struthia Mimus. And we will see you in the next video.